What's up, y'all? Welcome back. This week, we're taking you to Sack and Daga Campground in New York. So, gear up. This is going to be a good one. Stopping at a rest stop. This is one of the best rest stops that I've seen on our trips. There's picnic tables, the river, and there's a trail that runs right through here, and the blue. The blue trail. Blue. Babe. <laughs> this is rest stop dance party, D and Lee. Chris <laughs> Brown dance party. Here's where things begin to get ugly. So we um, always use separate GPSs. I put in Waze, D uses, we use Google, Google. And um, it said two different ways. We always follow D's, but we have no service. So our GPSs can't connect to get us out of this. So yeah. Well, it's not an adventure, unless it's an adventure. Look at the look of concern on Lee's face. It says it all. We're probably way off, man. Yeah, I feel like we're getting farther. No. My GPS took us to the center of the lake and stopped and said, hey, you're here. But uh, no, we were really lost. And you're gonna keep following that straight. It's gonna take you back, cause you're, you're on, follow, just follow that road. So once you go over the Bachelorville Bridge, you can't miss it. After being lost for over an hour, we finally bumped into Danielle. Yeah. Thank you for the directions, Danielle. But uh, yeah, we're still lost. But after driving a half hour, we finally seen a store. Lee's gonna head in and try to get some information for us. Does anybody know how to get to the campground state? The Sacramento State Campground? I think it's like a state yes. park for camping. You go down this road, you follow it all the way down. There's two parks and they're far from each other. One is Sacandaga uh, State Park and then the other is Sacandaga Campsites. And it's tough using your GPS. It doesn't have an address. Luckily, there was a woman named Gail there, and she knew it was on Route 30, so we're able to follow her somewhat of the way. And luckily, we made Would it. Would y'all take a look at this damn wood pile we just got for $10? We actually left some behind. Oof. How'd it go? Good. Good? Huh, at least something went correct today. Uh -huh. Oh, man. I got puked on. Lady puked on there, then lost. Oh my God, guys. We'd like to thank Gail, Danielle, and little Annie for their directions. Thanks, guys. Woo wee, we made it. We made it, we're set up. Thought we weren't gonna make it. Um, yeah, we are in Sakaganda. Sakaganda? Strike two. Park. We're on the river. The only thing is that these horse flies are the size of birds. I've never seen horse flies this big in my life. And I grew up kind of in the countryside. No. Mm -mm. These things are huge. Got the fire burning though. Fire starter has begun. But yeah, they're keeping them away for now. We hope. It is a nice place, guys. We are the first site as you enter into this place. Um, so, don't know what it looks like uphill, downhill. I'll check it out for you. Fire. All right, let's go explore and see what this place looks like.
This is the beautiful Sacandaga River. Uh, the campground is located in the southern portion of the Adirondack Park, which you saw last week when we visited Northampton Beach Campground. The area is flat here and its elevation is only 925 feet above sea level. But by the looks of those mountains there, you couldn't tell. I know the river looks low now, but in the spring, there's a lot of fishing and kayaking to be had here, so you might want to look into that. Speaking of looking into that, what the heck was that? Huh. What the hell? What the hell? Here we go with Childish Lee's pranks again. The fire starter, the infamous. Ooh, look at that. The infamous. Lee. <laughs> oh, she has got the. Oh, what's the cue? Oh, oh, I'm so stupid. Fire starter. Fire it all. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the music. Hey, let me show you guys something. You guys can't tell me. For starters, let's look out the side window. So tomorrow, while I'm here making coffee, I'm going to be able to sit here and look out at that. But for tonight, Guys, we're gonna put the TV on, sit here. Oh, with that view. Man. Guys, can't tell me that's not gorgeous. That's what you call living, man. While Dee's filming the inside, I wanted to tell you I got a prank. So you know we've been having issues with rodents and I bought a remote control mouse. I'm gonna yell and say that there's a mouse or noises, something, and then when he comes in, opens the door, I'm gonna fast forward it so it comes flying out of the cabinet. I thought of several different ways, but this is the one I think that'll probably work best. Let's see. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> ah, you stupid f You mother! Oh my god, man! I'm just sitting here telling you I'm stressing over <laughs> yep, she got me again. <laughs> Well, here we are, day number two. We took our time this morning. No rush. Just soaking up our surroundings. Enjoying these beautiful views. This place is gorgeous.
Let's go check out the sites, guys. But first, there's bathhouses, dump station, and a recycling area. There's no electric, but there is water spread out throughout the park. And there's no internet or phone service, so keep that in mind. Site 79. Great size, but we've noticed something here. You guys see the line of rocks here? You can tell that was an old foundation to an old home at one point. Wow, the stories this site could tell. That is absolutely crazy. So over the years, as everybody's pulled in and out, in and out, it's eroded, weather, etc. It exposed that foundation from years ago. I wonder what was here. Really cool. Site 79. Yeah, site 95. Oh, I dig this, guys. I dig this site. And that's the thing, you overlook. You're the king of the mountain. King of the hill. Wow, I really dig this site, guys. It's pretty. Site 75. Every site here is spacious. I've seen two or three that aren't, and I'll let you know. But at this point, I mean, they're huge, guys. So 70 and 71. 70 to the left, 71 to the right. You're tucked in there. It's cool how they were able to get between those two trees. Big ups to you guys with your Econo line. And I don't think you guys can see, or maybe you can. They have maybe a 20 footer behind there and they fit between these two damn trees. Good job, guys. Awesome. That's really nice. Site 69, guys. Obviously, I don't have to say anything here. And that is the river right behind it. Look I'm not how. About the number. <laughs> look how cool this is. And you have water right at the top of your site. This is a nice one. Oh, you know what? You I dig it. It's like 99 here. They're parked here on the road. Same as up there, 96, 97. You walk down the path. There's your camp site and the river is right there. Here we go, site 100. You're gonna park here walk down the path and there you go as close to the river as they can get you 109 it's really cute guys it's the tree in the middle there here's the road and you want to call that a pull through go right ahead but really cute this park isn't made for massive rvs class a's i would say uh 28 30 footer max corners are tight in some areas but um the sites themselves are huge to be totally honest with you heads all the way deep down in there and as you can see they have their tent out to the left side cars on the right and river right off the bank 134 ah, there's a theme here guys theme is these things are all big they are really big they're awkward though because like you could see some folks came in through here through these trees or straight down here if you could see the, the tire tracks and over to this side because they leave the trees dead in your way it's like they didn't want to remove a single tree in this park which I admire but so we're gonna head down to the other side the opposite side of where we are um show you guys what these sites look like i personally i know when we get down further they're going to be really gorgeous but this section is in um 
anything I'd be looking forward to personally. Like if you can see here, everybody's squished up against each other. Um, you park your cars there. Looks like a parking lot almost with everybody just squeezed next to each other. That's just not my cup of tea. For everybody else, obviously, you know. Happy, happy, joy, joy. But the, not Dan Lee style. And the road right here. And yeah, and the main road is here. Um, and obviously to the right here, you see traffic going by. That is the main road. That is Route 30, 50 mile an hour traffic. So you're close to the main road, you're close to the campground's main road, and you're close to each other. I'll give you the site numbers to that in the bottom. Well, we're heading out of here, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and we hope you learned something from this episode. And if you did, please do us a favor and like and subscribe. Help us grow the channel for the RVing and camping community. And we'd also like to thank everyone along the way that helped us get here. And um, don't forget to tune in every Wednesday at 7 o'clock. So until next week. We love you guys.